Prince Harry granted access to secret Levison records in Daily Mail hacking claim Sir Elton John, also among high profile figures, allowed to see private eye payment records. The Duke of Sussex and Sir Elton John are to be given secret documents from the Levison inquiry to support their phone hacking claim against the Daily Mail following a decision by the government. In a notice published last night, ministers approved a request from six high-profile figures to unseal documents submitted as part of the public inquiry into hacking more than a decade ago. The documents outlined payments made to private investigators by both the Daily Mail and the Mail on Sunday. The notice, which was signed by Culture Secretary Lucy Fraser and Home Secretary James Cleverly, states that the ledger cards may be used by the claimants and their lawyers for the purposes of their claims. Prince Harry and Sir Elton John are among a group of celebrities to have filed a lawsuit alleging widespread unlawful behavior at Associated Newspapers, the publisher of the mail titles. Actors Liz Hurley and Sadie Frost have also brought the claim alongside former politician Simon Hughes and Doreen Lawrence, the campaigner and mother of Stephen Lawrence. They have accused the newspaper group of phone hacking and other unlawful information gathering, including placing listening devices in cars and recording private phone conversations dating back over three decades, the intervention by ministers will come as a major boost to the celebrities. After a judge ruled in November that they could not use leaked copies of their ledgers in their case as they were supplied to the Levison inquiry in confidence. The notice varies a restriction order imposed by Sir Brian Levison in 2012, meaning the documents can now be used. Associated newspapers which has always denied the allegations, applied to have the claims dismissed partly on the basis that the documents were sealed. The company also argued that the claims were outside a time limit for legal action, but a judge dismissed this application in November, meaning the case can be heard at trial. It is likely to take place early next year. It comes a month after the Duke of Sussex dropped a separate libel claim against the Daily Mail. The Prince had sued the publisher over an article in the Mail on Sunday about his taxpayer-funded security arrangements after stepping back as a senior royal. The newspaper said he would now be liable to pay its legal costs of 250,000 pounds.